I have exciting news to announce today, an enormous, fabulously large update and improvement to the original Answer Ladies machine knitting notebook. Also, there is now a mid-gauge volume available, which gives the two most common gauges using DK yarn on mid-gauge machines. The standard and bulky version is already up on Ravelry, replacing the original, and people who have bought the original have already been given a brand new copy of the new standard and bulky knitting notebook. The mid-gauge book will be up within a day or two. I'm having a little bit of difficulty, but we'll get that ironed out. The books are laid out just alike up to about page 60 when they diverge because there are some different patterns in the different books and different machines get special notes. For example, the pass-up notes only appear in the standard and bulky version. Bond notes appear in both because bonds can knit in both gauges. I have a new video playlist covering lots of the techniques and the approach to the patterns used in the knitting notebooks so that even brand new knitters can jump in and get knitting as comfortably as possible. Each book also contains a page of live video links to videos that you may find helpful. Let's go over how it works. Both books begin with a basic drop shoulder crew neck sweater, a pullover, the most classic style in the history of the world. Short and long sleeves are given in 19 sizes from 18 inch finished chest to 54 inch finished chest. Bottom up and top down instructions are given for sleeves. Measurements of the finished sweater are given in a chart so that if you would like to draw your own charted pattern for a charting device, you may do so. And see the green bar at the top of the chart? That indicates that this applies to both gauges given in the book. Whereas if you see a yellow band at the top versus a pink band at the top, that is a color key to which gauge you're working on. Since the size range includes infants to extra large adults, the instructions have been simplified by making them fill in the blank. You find the values for your size in the chart, they're all clearly labeled, and then read these really simple instructions along with the numbers that you put in. This method is followed for all of the patterns in the book, allowing you to knit that huge range of sizes without a confusing list of numbers. When it comes to things like necklines, hemlines, wrists, and trims, a lot of options are added. This is to allow you to make the sweater you really want. In general, every shape of sweater can be finished in a huge number of ways, and I try to make it possible for you to envision the perfect one or copy one you have loved in the past by means of this method. Lots and lots of ways of finishing and decorating are described. There's also a chapter on how to turn the initial basic design into a cardigan. Since it's the same body block used throughout the book, you don't have to remeasure and resize and adjust. Just make the changes shown in the directions for the cardigan, and off you go. The short sleeve pattern is basically the same as the long sleeve pattern, just with short sleeves. So again, no fuss, no muss. A little farther along, we develop a modified drop shoulder design, still based on the same body block, but that gets rid of some sloppiness in the upper body, That and this is more flattering to quite a few people, and certainly, on curvaceous women, darts improve fit, so we have a chapter on that. The dart chapter goes into a lot of detail about how and why to figure them, but it also offers a chart that you can use if a prefab dart will work for you and you don't really want to think about all that math. So either way, it's easy to knit and well worth doing for curvaceous people. That's one of the videos in the upcoming series, which, by the way, the first one on the basic sweater will be released today, and then every few days all summer, another one will become available. One of the patterns is for sleeveless shells and vests, which is based on the original body block, 
but with some changes to armhole shaping and shoulder refinements comes out beautifully. Another style is keyhole fronts. These can be made either using the basic pattern or the modified dropped shoulder pattern. There's a chapter on adding cables to any of the designs and one on making funnel neck sweaters of any degree of width and length and slouch. They may be plain, have an outlined V or an outlined V with lace. Basic hems and trims are covered early in the book while we're developing the understanding of the patterns, but there is a whole additional chapter later on somewhat more advanced techniques. And by the way, the use of a river or a single bed is always included. Methods for both are given. One of the trickiest things about sweater knitting is sleeve length because any two people who have the same torso circumference might be hugely different in sleeve length. So an entire chapter is devoted to perfecting sleeve length if the pattern doesn't fit any individual perfectly. Towards the end of the book are the notes for specific machines. Passive notes are in the standard bulky version. Bond and knit smart notes are in both versions. I felt this was necessary because in general the language I use is that used by Japanese machines, not brand specific. But the terminology used by both passives and bonds is a little bit different and we don't want to exclude them. Almost at the end of each book is a video link list so that if a technique gives you trouble or you're not sure how to do it on your machine, you can easily access my YouTube channel and get help. Throughout the book, every time a new style has been introduced, a fill-in-the-blank pattern has appeared with it. But all of those patterns are repeated on the last five pages of the book so that if you want to print out just five pages, you can do it over and over and fill in the blanks for yourself, your husband, your cousin, your sister, your infant, grandchild, whoever, and not have to sort out the page within the book. Just know that everything you could possibly need to print is on the last five pages. And that way, if you're somebody who normally uses a tablet or an iPad, to work from, you can do that and still make your own worksheets. And before I forget, each volume has one pattern that is not in the fill-in-the-blank form. It's written out in extreme detail, as though speaking to somebody who was just learning to knit. This is sort of a bonus pattern because each one is based on the fundamentals from the entire knitting notebook. In the mid-gauge version, it's this sporty cardi for adults. In the other volume, it's the basic, not boring adult pullover sweater. It's, that's a bulky sweater. So be sure you get the volume that you want. Standard and bulky are included in this one. Mid-gauge is included in this one. Also, I've worked really hard on these and I hope you enjoy them. You will have my email address because of your Ravelry download. I can no longer publish it due to security concerns, but you will get it because we're doing business. If you run into a snag or you find something you think is just not right, in spite of my hard work, it's not impossible to have missed something. Get in touch and we will iron it out together. Okay, so bye-bye for now. I'm off to release this video along with the one on the basic crew neck so you can get started with your knitting. Have a good time.